We have just some uh, simple data here, name, dates, amounts, okay? So we put this in a pivot table, right? So here is a pivot table, okay? And we have our filter up here for states, Colorado, Illinois, Texas, Wisconsin, all right? But we want to control the filter another way so we can control it here. And we have a pivot chart here. Okay, and this is a good way of hiding uh, pivot tables from users who might break them or who might be freaked out by them. And it does call for some VBA code that I will share. Okay, so can you see the VBA code? Yes. Yep. All right. So it's just two rows, right? The sheet, pivot table, and you're controlling your filter with these two rows of VBA code. That's a cool trick, Oz. I like that. Ah, thanks. All right. And, and everything is all tied together. Let's look at the back of this. So it is assigned to the macro, right? So that's one thing. And then the next thing uh, we can look here. So this F3 to F26, this is where our states are. Mm. And the cell link I18, uh, let's this. under there. So we have the number three there that's tied to that. Okay. And then Illinois, we got the index table state. I-18, and it all works together. It all works together in order to control the pivot table filter with the combo box. All right, and that, okay, and that is my tip, and I want to give that uh, four sriracha bottles, right? Because I see that um, there are a lot of times we do need to build apps for clients that, you know, they don't know pivot tables, but they need to get the benefit from pivot tables. And this is one way to give them what they need without giving them the pivot table.